What caused a deadly crane accident at the Port Authority of Guam more than a month ago? Roger Forstner is the OSHA area director. At this point, it's an ongoing investigation, so we really can't talk about it um, until it's completed. OSHA is leading the investigation into the November 25th tragedy that claimed the life of a Guam shipyard employee. It's always, you know, it's a hard situation, and you know, that's that's why, you know, we like want to try and do kind of get this message out. Last March, the port and the administration celebrated in front of the old cranes a $2.5 million project to safely demolish them. Guam Shipyard and Smith Bridge are the contractors making room for new cranes. Port General Manager Roy Respicio and Guam Shipyard President and CEO Matthew Pothin during the ceremony re-emphasized safety. The Port Users Group, headed by our Chairman Joe Cruz, has been very supportive of this project and even asked for safeguards to ensure that the port will be protected during this project. We want to thank the port management for allowing us to move these things on the hotel mall for the past few years safely. Details into exactly what went wrong are part of OSHA's investigation. It comes down to, you know, a lot of times it's whether it's, you know, workplace training, you know, and it you know, safe and work control. The U.S. Department of Labor urging employers to enhance workplace safety measures as OSHA plans to inspect port construction sites and job sites where cranes are in use. Nobody goes into work today, you know, thinking somebody's going to, you know, die. But, you know, and the unfortunate reality is on average 12 people, you know, throughout the U.S. die every day, every day in, in workplace accidents. The troubling statistics and the latest death at Guam's port led to OSHA even putting together this list of safety recommendations. Being proactive, um, you know, when looking at things, you know, um, assessing risks, um, you know, really, you know, if a crane or, you know, equipment or any type of equipment is has damage, you know, you know, don't don't operate it, you know, be careful, you know, read the warnings, the cautions, um, you know, and and don't, you know, prefer, perform any work under loads. At the end of the day, a lot of it is, is common sense. And it just, a lot of times, what, you know, when you look at things, people be, sometimes become complacent with things or, you know, they don't, you know, it's like they do things day in, day out. You don't think about it as much. So, you know, it's, it's important to, to kind of keep always in the forefront. OSHA is also expected to conduct outreach activities, on-site consultations, and more to prevent injuries and deaths in the workplace.